Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we have to talk about it, the end of August. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell just today, on August 23rd, announced it's time for rate cuts. What do you think is going to happen? Can you believe there's pundits out here who say the economy is going to go into a recession? It's going to be crashing Can you believe others, like myself, who believe that will give an uplift to the economy because of credit and borrowing and increasing the deficit at the same time because you're going to add money to the money supply, which now means prices go up and at the same time, stocks go up, real estate should go up. But again, we have a mixed bag. Let's get into it today and welcome. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much once again for being here. Please share the videos because you never know who's out here looking for information, who might find the information, and they're like, hmm, I'm curious. So tell your friends, tell your family. Now's the time to gather your riches together in a pool and invest. Now, without further ado, let's go over to the Stop Struggling Now YouTube podcast channel page. And the reason I go here is to show courtesy of you two members of the channel over here on the right hand side they always show a few and i always point out the join button why because members of the channel they receive one or two videos specifically for them once a month twice a month then under the community tab they also receive special messages directly for them they also include the link to all the live streams unless we have a guest, where they can actually come on the live stream and join me. If you're camera shy, just turn off your camera and then we can just hear your voice. But there's also special emojis that they have that they rarely use. And on Wednesday night, only Wednesday night live streams can have the members with the icon next to their name during the chat room. That's the only people that can be in the chat room. All right, without further ado, let's get into... Fed Chair Powell indicates interest rates cut ahead. This time, the time has come for policy to adjust. Now, we told you it was happening in September. Look what happened today. The Dow Jones went up 462 points. Oh, that's near a record, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to break the record next week. And S&P 500, also near all-time record highs. NASDAQ still lagging a little bit for the all-time record high, but they're all close. And they're going to be broken. That's what I think. Let me know what you think. A lot of people are saying there's a recession. Why? Because there's not enough jobs. Jobs means people have income. They're going to go out here and buy things from corporations. Then people are saying other reasons that's happened is there are some leading indicators that suggest that there's going to be a recession. What are one of those? Well, Take the last quarter's inflation rate and see what the difference is between the inflation rate from last year to this year. And as if there's a difference of 0.5% or higher, that's a leading indicator. But that's not 100% all the time. And I believe it's not going to be 100% once again. This is what's going to happen. That's why you need to get in with your stock game, ladies and gentlemen. And down below in the description, under any video that you see, you will see Robinhood Webull apps that you can download your brokerage account so you not only get free stocks, but you also 
are able to share with others and then you can buy these shares now let's get into fed chair powell indicates listen to this fed chair jerome powell laid the groundwork friday for interest rate cuts ahead though he declined to provide exact indications on timing or extent it's happening next month the time has come for policy to adjust the central bank leader said in his much-awaited keynote address at the fed's annual retreat in jackson hole wyoming so they can collude with the rest of the world they just want to let people know, get our, all our stories together. That's all they're doing. Don't let them fool you like this. All right. Now, I'm not going to get into this. Inflation has declined significantly. Yes, this is true. That's what they say there. That's the whole reason. The labor market is no longer overheated. That's true as well. And conditions are now less tight than those that prevailed before the pandemic, Powell said. Supply restraints have normalized and the balance of risk to our two mandates has changed. Now, I just want to point out something that's very, very interesting. I've been saying for the last two months, three months, four months, I've been telling you they had no intention of going down to 2% inflation rate year over year. All they did was stall from increasing interest rates over the last year just so we can go from august of 2023 to august of 2024 so now you can say year over year it only went up 2.9 2.8 but the reality of the situation is the federal reserve did nothing except increase that interest rate to five percent when it should have went up to six percent but they didn't want to hurt their friends the rich guys are their friends the stock market are their friends that's why you have to be in the stock market, ladies and gentlemen, to be their friends. As long as you don't have extra income to put into the stock market or buy stocks, you can buy $10, $20, $30 worth of stock every paycheck. It does not matter, but you need to be in the game. You want some in, is, in, dividend stocks? Okay, J-E-P-I, J-E-P-Q. Join me on live streams. Join us in the SSN Nation on live streams. We have a lot more to talk about. That gets you around 9.5 to 10.5% right now. Dividends that you're going to receive because you invested in a JP Morgan ETF. Now, without further ado, I'm getting right back to it. Okay, because this annoys me to no end. You guys have no idea that they're actually manipulating the markets to help certain people. The top 10% of the wealthiest in the world own 89% of the stock market, the United States stock market. All right, that gives you an idea what the wealth inequality is about. The only way you are going to be able to get your piece of the pie now is not just your hard work. You're going to have to make money while you're sleeping, and stocks do that for you. So just want to let you know, seize progress toward goals. Here we go. Remember those goals? The speech comes with the inflation rate consistently drifting back to the Fed's 2% target, though still not there yet. Exactly. Okay. A gauge of the Fed prefers to measure inflation. Inflation most recently showed the rate at 2.5%. It's 2.9, but all right. Down from 3.2% a year ago and well off of its peak above 7% in June 2022. I don't know what metrics they're using, but actually it was 9% in 2022. It was 2.9% last month. So I don't know if it dropped to 0.4% or they're fudging the numbers, but the bottom line is they didn't get to 2%, which should annoy a lot of you because they should have raised the interest rate even higher last year long before doing the interest rate cut which now means we're about to heat up the economy again so welcome ladies and gentlemen to the bull run that should ensue if you don't think there's going to be a bull run please let me know down below and with all that said thank you for watching thank you for listening and please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates and i know it's hard out here and that's why going forward you're going to have to make extra money while you're sleeping you can't save your way into this one you have to make extra money whether that's real estate whether that's stocks whether that's buying into another business but you have got to find those places have to find those places that give you money that you give out 
gives you a return. Those are the type of places. That's what we call assets here in the SSN Nation. We don't call an asset a simple thing like a home. A home means you live there. That's expenses. You have to go to work to pay for it. That is a liability. Cars. If you have to go to work and pay for it, that's a liability. What you want to do is put your money into something and then three months to six months to a year later, without you doing anything else, money's coming back to you. That is an asset. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.